We're live at the Northwest Cup at Sam's Hollywood Billiards in Portland, Oregon. Team Washington takes a commanding lead, two to one. Now we go to a Scotch doubles match. It will be Cliff Maxson and Chris Byers against Kim Jones. And let me see if I get this right. It's Tim Tweedell from Washington. Sorry, Mrs. Tweedell, he told me. Let's go. All right, here we go. Kevin Ross back in the chat in the in the commentators booth. Chris Byers on the left, Kim Jones on the right, lagging. Oh, that's going to be a close one. Looks like the uh orange one has it. Boy, that's close. It is close. Yeah, it's the orange ball. Five ball wins. <laughs> Tim Twiddell was uh, calling the five ball from across the room. Tim says he can see it from here. says it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching today. We are your hosts, Kevin Ross, and uh, uh, what is your name again? Summerfield. I'll Happening. be Summerfield Happening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this event brought to you by Big Earn Billiards, uh, the billiard shop, and CheapQs.com. Use coupon code Team Oregon. Dupalux, makers of custom stash boxes. Northwest Women's Pool Association and Jam Up Apparel. Thank you guys. Well, I have not seen a whole lot of play from Team Washington right here, but, man, looking at this lineup, I, I got to go in the favor of Team Oregon. I am a little biased, but... No, just because you're from Eugene? Taking, taking dollar bets out there. I got my money on Oregon. Oh, and that's going to hurt you the first. in the subway. Yes, indeed. Oh, and he's made... Uh, made, made a couple a, balls. Made a couple in addition to the white one. Yep, made. This is a little tricky here for Chris, but he's just going to take the combo early. It's that meme about when you see your teammate taking ball in hand combo or taking the combo with ball in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'd, yeah, you kind of do want to gear to that five. You don't want to leave that five there, really. Yeah. Summer something. Okay, I guess that's your name. That'll do. Well, that one took a little funny roll, but it actually kind of worked in Cliff's favor. He's just going to come around the back side of that two ball. I mean, Chris and Cliff are just going to play terrific together. Both these players are playing really strong. Man, that last match, I thought uh, I thought Cliff was going to uh, steal that one away from Damian. Unreal. That was wow. That, <laughs> that was so cool. I, nice trick shot on the nine ball there by Damian. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> wild, but it's also pretty unheard of for Damian to to miss as many shots as he did. Tell me, people, the pressure's real. Yes, it is. <laughs> Summer salt. <laughs> Summer salt. Summer stuff. <laughs> I don't like the shot that Chris just took, but it sure gave Cliff a nice natural run around. Giving him the run around, huh? Yeah, and Cliff left him a little long here and kind of paid him back a little bit. <laughs> He's got plenty of room, though. You just don't want to overdraw or over bounce on this and leave yourself tough on the eight. Something like this, I almost think about running around three rails, but Chris will control it really well. Yeah, just leaves him a little bit longer. That's a smart way to play. Figure, yeah, he's a player. You should be able to handle this. Summer no salt. <laughs> Oh, Cliff Hunter hit that a little bit, too. This yeah, is a tough left shot a little bit of a tester here for Chris. Yep. Well, Chris is one of the best players in the Pacific Northwest, so he should be able to handle this, but it's not an easy shot by any means. Oh. Yep, I talked him right out of it. Yes, You're, indeed. <laughs> You're welcome, Team Washington. Oh, man. Oh, wow, that's just going to duck up right in front of that side. <laughs> it's huge. Well, and that's 
Luckily, it wasn't their break, so I mean, that was a good opportunity to go up 1 0 and break in, but. Kim is going to make that ball nine times out of ten. All right, Kim Jones putting that one away. Back to the break. I think Cliff's probably going to break for Team Oregon. Yeah, Cliff. Cliff's been breaking it pretty good. He's been uh, making the ball, controlling the cue ball. So, yeah, he should break and then let, uh, and then let Chris deal Chris with the first the shot after the break. Yeah. I like that strategy. Oh, man, that's... <laughs> so funny, I'm not even out there playing, and just that missed opportunity is <laughs> weighs on me. I, you're, it, fe you're feeling it with them. And you saw it start to slip away four balls in. You know, you just get right. a little out of line, and then you're a little longer and a little longer, and it There's comes down to Yeah. And you're watching on the screen, and that tough or that cut doesn't look that tough, but that is. Wait, you don't do you even know what snowballs here are? You don't, do, you don't, do you even know what snowballs are here in uh, here in Oregon? Well, I'm from Montana, so I remember snowballs. But <laughs> every year in Eugene, they say it doesn't snow, and every year it snows, shuts the town down for about three days. But yeah, we don't know a whole lot about snow and cold weather out here. Oh, did he come up dry? Nope, that seven's going. All righty, almost dry. No, he made the wing. Oh, he did too. make. Oh, yep. I didn't see it go. Like, okay, he's made two on the break. I didn't actually see it go either. This is a tough transition, though. Yeah, it's, it's a tough shot. Forget about transition. Yeah. Right. Ginsu, that ball in. Slice and dice. A little bit off that rail. I mean, if he can get anywhere past the five ball, he's looking good on the two. But like you said, this is a tough shot. Nice try, Chris. And on, a, on, a, on a table with normal-sized pockets, that would have gone. Oh, yeah. you got to think he's kind of playing a two-way there also, making sure. I mean, he leaves Cliff an opportunity to make a ball, but this is, is Tim going to run around two rails to get behind that two ball? Just cut it just thin, cut cut it thin, thin. come up one rail. It's easy to overhit this ball. Or, un or, or under, under hit. hit a, yeah. All right, Tim says, I made mine. <laughs> Kim two railing it and probably hoping to stick back there. All right, nice hit. No five ball. Well, and I think that four passes the five, so if Cliff can make this two and leave Chris the long one. He might carry forward and try and bump that four. Just sitting on the rail. Mm, no, nah. he's just going to sit it there. The four is not frozen, so he can just shoot the four up the corner. Nice shot. Yeah. One of the only times you want to be dead straight. <laughs> yeah, five to the six, though. That's going to be a bit tricky, mm -hmm. assuming he makes this four, which he should. Ooh. <laughs> forced, uh, forced some angle there. Mm -hmm. Cliff going to draw straight back between that 9-8. And, not, in, and not into the corner. Oh, man. Uh, over, over juiced it a little. Yeah. That is tough. Well, Chris has a good safe opportunity here. He's also got a pretty straight bank. Chris going to go for the bridge, something you rarely see. How tall yeah. is Chris? Six seven. He's pretty tall. I know that. He's a tall player. Him and James DeVee. <laughs> oh, he's playing safe. Knocked a six over by the. That's nice, especially with the bridge. Yep. Wow. Well, and they can still see the full ball, but that's a lot of distance there to play a safe back. Yeah, this is. I think he'll probably a tough leave. Try to play back behind the eight ball. Do you think? Um, it's tough to hold on that nine. This is a tough safety. Uh, just. Go for the bank. Go for the bank. When the safety's that tough, just go for it. What do you say? Bank it in and run out? Just bank it in and run out. That's all you got to do. I like knocking it up table, clipping that nine ball and staying. I mean, if you can get the six ball, two rails back to the center of the table, close to that rail, they got a tough shot on the next one. Let's see what Timmy does. He's going for Fire it. it. 
Not quite. Well, it's been a little quiet around here compared to last year, but I tell you, Tim Tweedle doing most of the talking, and he sure shuts up when he's playing pool. <laughs> I'll put up the, uh, the, the chat room wants to know what the frogger rate is. I'll put the frogger rate up uh, in between games here. There we go. Hold up, sugar. Hold up. Nice shot, Cliff. I think you wanted to be a little shorter than that. He's going to clip this nine. Oh, that's nice. I tell you, there's something to be said for the strokes when they can just wiggle those balls in like <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, Byers and Maxson tying it up. One apiece. Shooting, boys. All right, let's look at the our team uh, roster here. Oh, that's the whole team Fargo? Yeah, it's got uh, all the players in their Fargos. <clears throat> well, this is a point that Oregon desperately needs. We're, we're down 2-1, and this is a match we're supposed to win. So this is a really important one for Chris and Max to, or Chris and Cliff to, to keep it together. Take that win. Kim Jones to break. Kim's got a great break. Yeah, she breaks them pretty good. Oh, uh, Kim is going for the Liz Cole look with the glasses on the on, on the top of her head. Glasses on the head, yep. She didn't used to do that when I lived Studious. here. Studious. <laughs> All right, she's made a ball in the break and got Tim a pretty good shot on this one to start with. This is a that's a nice break. One, two, and three shouldn't be problems. This is tough because you it's so easy to try and play this ball soft and then you undercut the one. I really like going drawn it enough to go to the uh, the foot rail. And that's what happens he if you're trying what to you get did. that ball he soft. Did, he did what you said. He uh, tried to tried to hold it and just over-cheated the pocket. Say what people will about my game. I know how to miss balls. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a nice little shallow jump. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't get you a lot. Where are you at with the two ball then? Still want to make it. Then you just uh, jump the two over the three into the corner. <laughs> Yeah, I, saw, I do like I saw, the object I saw that. Uh, I saw that. I saw that on a trick shot video once. Or Chris jump draws this perfectly. Let's see that jump draw. It does look like he's lining up to draw. Ooh. Well, I don't think you lose a whole lot missing that ball. You don't want Washington coming back to the table, but. An awful long shot on that one ball to get back good on the two. Yeah, this is a tough shot. That cue ball is running right towards that seven. Just making the one is tough. Yeah. Wow. Hit oh, look, nice great. little, uh, nice little bump there for the seven mm -hmm. to bump that cue ball back up. I mean, it's still not not an easy shot on the two, but here's the second part of the recovery right here. You got to come over and back. Bottom right, don't hook yourself behind the four. I think I just shoot. Oh, yeah, he's just trying to lay it up. You leave yourself a lot of angle right by that side pocket. I don't like that shot. I mean, that is right by that point there. Yeah. Yeah, the side, well, the side pocket should not be an issue here. She did that three ball this far enough in front of it. Uh, caught it just a little full. I don't know how you can't think about it, though. I know it's not supposed to be an issue, but it's just so present in that shot. All right. Team Morgan with a great opportunity here. And, I mean, these are the, the things they need to take advantage of if they want to maintain their advantage. You've got to get out on a rack like this. Oh. Oh. Or you just or just play safe. Or just play safe. And that's a... Yeah, I, you know, I was noticing that Cliff is playing with so much confidence and he doesn't want to question himself. I think that's when you start getting in trouble mentally. But 
He's playing a little quick. He, he I don't, I've never, I've not really watched Cliff play before this. I don't know what his normal pace is, but he does seem like he's playing kind of quick. Oh, wow. Is it in? Yes, it is. It is. A little, th little love tap off the seven there. I think he might have played safe, though. Uh, I think he's, I think he's, or she, that's Kim. I think Kim can see this uh, forward to shoot it in the corner. Definitely, can she? Definitely into the side. But I think it goes to the corner. Yeah, the way she's lining up, it's, it goes. Well, that's a pretty fortunate shot. Cliffs was pretty fortunate to get hooked there, too. There we go. No way. Well, like I said, in the side. So wow. apparently, apparently it wouldn't go to the corner, so she shot it in the side. That's nine ball. There's nothing <laughs> you can do about that. The rolls will go both ways. That is a very, very fortunate roll, though. Nine ball is still my favorite game. Yeah? It over, is. You know, over 10? Over, absolutely over 10 ball. Huh. Keeps it exciting. Yeah, it's true. On that rail, but this should be no problem for Tim. Feeling the pressure a little bit out there, though. I see Tim. He's playing tighter than he usually does. Nice shot. All right, Timmy. Two to one over Oregon. And Team Oregon to break. So right now we're right on online for serve. So, so far today, you know, that first match was uh, pretty lopsided towards Oregon, that 7-3 first match. But then the next two sets, you know, Washington's come back with very tight uh, matches there, 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. Man, that Lingelbach corner match and Weekly Louie was, that was tight. It was. But, I mean, both of them going hill-hill after the and blowout Cliff, in the first uh, one. And Cliff had a good uh, chance there to, for an upset against Damien. Oh. That would have been something. I still can't believe that. <laughs> that would have been huge. That's what I was calling. I, that's the mismatch that I like. I like mm -hmm. Cliff versus Damien over uh, Kim versus Chris. And But that's, I mean, that's just great. Going hill-hill with Damien for Cliff, that's a huge, huge set. Timmy and Kimmy. Yeah. yeah, Timmy and Kimmy. <laughs> so they are alternating break. I don't know if they're required to do that or if they're just doing it. Uh, I mean the the person on the team. Um, yeah. If they're playing, they're, uh, I was told they're playing mostly CSI rules, just a couple modifications. And CSI rules says either player, either player can break. You don't have to carry that rotation over from the previous game into the next game. Well, that is a big dry break, but this is a tough shot. Kim's pretty flat here. She kind of has to force an angle, but it's very doable. Just got to get around a little that's, more for that's that. That's nice. Too. Beautiful shot. Yeah, came little, up a little short. A little more would have been nice. But Tim, he's got something to work with. He can even uh, draw the cue ball into the, into the nine into ball the nine. Yeah. To, to hold up the cue ball for the three. Maybe even nudge that nine towards the pocket. Maybe more than nudge. Yep. Oh. All well, right. And Kim's got a little queuing line between the five eight, so. Yeah. She's good. This is still not an easy shot, though. I mean, she yeah, wants to get him angle. good on that four ball. Yeah, it's wrong angle on the three. So getting three to the four is tough. Probably just have to lag this in and leave Tim the the long shot on the four. Hit this with some high inside. Oh, she hit it wide. And that's really easy to happen. You start shooting inside, and all of a sudden it squirts a little bit on you. So she didn't like it, so she played safe. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate, but Cliff got one of those last rounds, so he gets it back this time. See? It all evens out. Usually not in quite that <laughs> short term. It's usually oh, yeah. the, the long term is usually way longer than people think it is. You know, the, the reason I think I like 10, oh, no way. Cliff, you got to hit that ball. I think the reason I like 10 over 9 is that 9 ball gives players an excuse. And it, you just hear <laughs> infinitely more, oh, the rolls, or oh, this and that. But yeah, I, I think it evens out in the end, too. Only real challenge out there is the 7 ball. And it looks like it's even off the rail, so... Six to seven transition. 
is an important one. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, playing for the side and got the, got the wrong angle on it. That's why, you know, playing for sides is usually a last resort. Mm -hmm. And when you have ball in hand, you didn't have to play for the side pocket there. Wait a minute, that's supposed to be a last resort? <laughs> Not I your think, first line? <laughs> I think I read that wrong. You want to draw this ball more than you think. You just don't even want to risk going to that foot rail or you want to go directly into it. I think he's going to draw into the side rail, though. Yep. Just get, shot. get off the rail and it's get good. Get off the rail. Yeah, you don't. Kim doesn't want to jack up on this shot. Yeah, six to the seven to the eight. You know, like you said before, that's that's going to be the the key here. Wow, hits just don't get great. don't get straight. Okay, well technically it's not straight, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not a whole lot of angle. Well, and this, I mean, this is a missable ball for Tim. He's pretty close to that seven, but he jacks up and tries to fire this too hard. Follows it. Oh, nice shot. Still probably wants to have left her a little less of an angle. It's easy to hit this ball too hard, but this is Kim Jones. She's going to hit it nice and easy. KMFJ. <laughs> Oh, just a bit outside. See, and overrolled that ball too. I mean, that's. I guess she would have been fine. This is huge, man. What? <laughs> with two balls on the table, you really want to come to the table, but that's that is a huge swing. They're about to go down three-one to be breaking. Yeah, Chris is a great shot maker. He's probably going to go for this eight. Myself, I'm playing safe here. But let's see what Chris does. He's looks. He's probably going to go for it. Got to make that ball. Oh, and he swishes it. What so, a shot. Yeah, if you're that good of a shot maker, yeah, shoot Dude. it in. Do th yeah, do that. I think that, I mean, Chris's game has taken such big swoops, but I, I don't think that Chris is estimated to be the player he really is. He is just a phenomenal player. Chris is a fantastic player. 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, just to step up and drill that ball with that kind of confidence, that's huge. But he's been in this position many times. Chris is tried and true, man. That's a huge win. Going so, to 2-2 two -two with their breaks <laughs> real different than 3-1. So I said I like 9-ball better than 10. And I've said on the stream before a few times why, but I don't think I've told you before, so I'll go over it again. Um, one of the reasons I like, uh, there are several reasons why I like 9-ball. I actually do like the luck for several reasons. Uh, ten ball is a game that's been designed and tailored specifically for pros. It uh, attempts to take all the luck out of the game, especially when you play like the pro ten ball rules, which is uh, call shot, call safety, which is different than CSI ten ball rules. Mm -hmm. um, they attempt to take every last bit of luck out of the game possible, uh, which is fine for pros. You know, that's what pros want. Yeah. But when you have a game that's tailored for pros, that if you get two players playing each other, um, the better player is going to win almost every time. It's, it, it discourages people from playing the game when, when, uh, mm -hmm. when there's no luck left in the game, when the better player is going to win you know, almost vir virtually every time. If you're going to cater to the pros, there's only one pro for every thousand amateurs out there, basically. So... And the pros only get paid if you have the 1,000 amateurs playing. I, it, I totally agree with what you're saying. Exactly. And the pros only get paid when you, have nice the, when, you have amateur, you know, when you have the 1,000 amateurs you know, padding the platform. Um, so when you have a game that tailors to the 1% pros and not the 99% amateurs, it tends to, I think it's going to kill the game, actually, and not, not encourage it. Yep, that's, I, why I like, that's why I like Nightball. That's my opinion. Yeah. I, I completely agree with those things, and I I like the luck as a factor. I and it's I, fun. It makes the game exciting. I think the you break. Don't like, I mean, you don't like it when someone gets lucky against you, but no one ever remembers when they get lucky against somebody frozen else. Frozen pizza, Cliff Max, and what a hit! Like uh, Cliff kicks <laughs> like right the ball so well. <laughs> that was a really nice, uh, nice hit, nice outcome. 
That one's pretty big right there. I mean, it's off the rail, so you got a lot of chance to hit that ball, but that was still a really nice hit and rewarded with a pretty tricky shot for him on the one. He might be able to see enough to make it, but I don't. I think he's going to play safe here. There oh, we go. he tried to make it. <laughs> and, I mean, Kim playing a great safe. Almost earning ball in hand, and Cliff getting a really good hit, earning them ball in hand. They should be out on this rack. The yeah, that three, three, four. Yeah, that three. No, yeah, he's got plenty. Yeah, plenty of room to make the three. He's get just going to leave him nice four. and thin on that three ball, so that he can get through the five eight. Exactly. Yeah, I, I love playing nine ball. You know, after playing bar box eight ball out at the coast this time, and. That's all I'd been doing. I just felt so confined, and I went and played a little bit of big table nine ball and remembered why I love that game. <laughs> I just can let my stroke out and play. And I think it's uh, yeah. I I think it's just a funner game. Yeah. When you play pool, it should be you should have fun, and I just think nine ball is just just a flat out funner game. And you, I mean, you, if make, you know, you make balls on the break more. You know, you get more break and runs. Yeah. If we took stats on who's gotten the rolls this time, I mean, I think that it would look pretty even. This, I think he drew that a little more than Chris would have liked. Oh, yeah. And and luck does even out in the long run, but the thing is, the long run is much... Get past much, it. Get past it. <laughs> the long run is much Ooh. longer than most people think. You know, Great a race of seven is not the long run. <laughs> no, not at all. The long run is thousands of games, not tens of games. <laughs> Cliff just going to stop that ball, leave him a good angle to get back on the six in the side. I mean, it seems like you'd take that six in the corner, but this is the one time you want to get past the six yeah. so that you can just drift down for the eight ball. And even uh, I might prefer coming up short, you know, like cue ball to the middle of the table, deliberately uh, wrong side of the six to come three rails around, come and that's exactly rails. what he's doing. Yeah. Um, because if you try to get, like, over where the nine ball is, you can get behind the nine. That's, so, that's perfect, though. So, it so looked what like he did hit was, that ball short, but so he's what he did was totally perfect. fine. Yeah, and that was totally intentional, what he did. He, he intentionally came up short get like off that. off the rail. It was, in, it was his intention to let Cliff come three rails around. Yeah. That was not an accident. Chris wishes he was off the rail here, but, I mean, this is a very makeable shot. Nice, easy roll up. Again, sitting on the rail. Big breath, Cliff. <laughs> and here you can see that dragon logo on the nine a little better. It's pretty cool. The Cyclop Hyperion balls. Ooh. MVP. 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 <laughs> I was had, chanting that last night when we were playing. And had, was, he, had he beat Damien, he would have been in the oh, running. Oh, my gosh. That was such a huge opportunity for an upset. Cliff back to break. Yeah, I mean, being up 3-2, they were about to be down 3-1. That was just such a huge, huge transition there. Good stuff. Let's see that break, Clifford. Team Morgan looking good here. I, so like, I like their chances. If they're able to tie it up here, we have a really good match coming up next with Chris Byers and James Davey. Davey? Davey. Davey. Yeah, and I mean, it's hard to say who the favorite is there. I know Chris is going to be coming in a little more warmed up than James, and that is an advantage. All right, nice break, and he almost had a good shot on the one, and then something came by and bumped the cue ball. Yeah, and that's exactly where Cliff wants to leave that one ball, but that one just got kicked, and that's going to happen. I remember Shane talking about how if you leave it between those two diamonds closest to the side pockets, you have such a good chance of getting kicked by a ball that it's one of the reasons that he scoots back and then comes forward. Chris picking his line on how to play safe here. He may no, he's not banking that ball. He's just gonna over. Hey, you overcut. can't really. Uh, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't hold it for the three if you bank it. Yep, overcut the bank and get back in those balls. Probably between the six nine. He is going for it, well, but there was no it. way to no way to hold it for the three. Yeah, but he left the bank perfect on that three. Bank where to the corner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't love that shot. 
call, I mean, call me crazy, <laughs> but this, not really. <laughs> this is a good opportunity, though. I, he can he can play the two way shot here, or he can just duck and play safe. Um, and I think he's probably going to duck. I think it'd be a big mistake to go for this bank. Five oh, ball. just cut it right down the rail. He made the five. All right, and there we go. the shot on the three. And the rolls go both ways. Love nine ball. Yeah, got to love nine ball. It's exciting. Fun. Unpredictable. And, I mean, he's gifted another shot, but this is a tough opportunity. Coming around three rails to leave yourself between that gap of the six nine for the four ball is not an easy shot. That's your Chris Byers. Uh, Ooh. Hit that. Uh, what a shot. Big smooth. Big smooth. He does just have such a naturally beautiful stroke. Cliff going to come around the backside of that nine for the six in the side. I think you wanted a little more distance, but if you overroll that, it's easy to get weird on the six. Yeah. He Chris will handle this just fine to the rail and nice, back. Nice, easy up and back. Just don't get behind the nine, and he's not going to, no, so perfect. perfect. Just going to yep, draw a little bit. He might have left him a little more straight than he wants to be. No, he's no. got angle. Is he just going to come straight up for the nine in the opposite corner pocket or come around? That's the way I would do it. I don't know. You know Chris might go the other way. Yeah, right on that rail, but he gave him a great line. MVP. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> I chance, but I joke. <laughs> I, this is such a cool event, and I am so stoked with who Team Oregon has selected and with Team Washington as well. It's a bummer to not see Sean Lewis here. Yeah. excited about that lineup, but great but, substitution last minute. And yeah, Stephen Weekly, he's been... Uh, He's been he was doing great. really good. He shot the ball really, really well. I was very impressed. Some people were wondering how is Stephen Weekly? How is he going to handle the pressure? Uh, looks like he's been handling it like a champ. He was cool. Yeah, he hit the ball great. A lot of confidence. I mean, he seemed less phased than more than the other players. Well. Looks like he's electing to break again, and I don't know if I like that. He scratched the first time, didn't leave himself a shot on the first one. He crosses that one ball, and that's just a dangerous shot to not scratch. I mean, he's going right at that side pocket. Takes a risk and breaks dry. That's not the person I want breaking. <laughs> All right, Chris going to come to the table. Here we go. Well, that 3 nine's no fun. Is he going to try and leave a line to get behind it? Does it go past the eight ball? Chat room wants to know why is it say Fargo 661 to 620? That is the average of the two players. sure what the thinking is there. Is he just going to draw straight into those balls? He's got the angle to do it, I think. Maybe try to get around it, and if you don't, you end up nudging it. Oh, he yeah, <laughs> overdid it. Well, I think Chris has a good opportunity to play a two-way here. I, yeah, think he I, don't know that that, I don't know that that bank combo is on. It looks like it's going to come up short. Yeah, but... On a long enough timeline, it's going to get to a pocket at some point, and I think that he can get down to that foot rail pretty easy. Harder he hits it, though, the higher up the three squirts. Yeah. I don't. That line looks extreme. I would think he'd go to both side rails and kind of try and get between the. I'd like, probably like go that. behind the five. Okay. Oh, he was looking at the line on the three ball to gotcha. Yeah, he's just he's just thinning he's off the, the he's just yeah. thinning off the three. He's not 
Not hitting the three pole, just coming off it thin. Ooh. Oh, don't line the nine back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look where he got the cue ball. Wow. That's so awesome. What a shot, Chris. Yeah, I was looking at the nine uh, coming I was back. Too. I was looking at the nine coming back up and lining up on the, the three. the perfect shot on the five. And, and I didn't even notice wow. that the cue ball just rolled in perfect behind the five. And I mean, this is this is for the set right here. You get a hit, and maybe you get lucky. You miss this ball, and the set's over. Yeah, if you yeah if you don't get a good hit here, or if you or even if you do get a good hit, but leave an easy shot. Yeah, that's your only chance. And. I mean, Chris just played such a dynamite shot. Where where do you go from here? Do you have to go four rails to get a kick? I, I like tying up to seven. Seven onto the four. I was just about to say tie up uh, the ball, but she didn't Man. get there. She didn't get there. Oh, I think she did. I don't think that four passes. Oh, really? Okay, let's have a look. Well, it doesn't pass, and well, maybe it does. I don't know. It, that looks pretty tight. Really, you think it passes? I thought it I, looks like I it. I thought it did. I mean, if you shot it that way, it, it passes. Well, not necessarily. He could be playing for a safety here. For a safe, yep. So we'll leave it up to. He, and with it being that straight, that might be the shot. I mean. You know, if it goes, you shoot it and run out. If it doesn't go, you, you got an easy safe right here. They don't call him Jam Up Big Smooth Chris Byers for nothing. <laughs> Wait, do they call him that? The shot. Nice, nicely done. Well, are you accepting dollar bets? Because I think that safety earned him ball in hand. I don't have any dollar bills on me. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> Your credit's good. <laughs> I don't think the one railer's there. I think he's got a two rail it, right? All right. So wait, are you are you betting for or against him getting a hit? I'm betting against him getting a hit. All right, I'll take that. I'll, I'll say he gets a hit here. All right. We got action. It's an easy one rail, up and down. No pressure, Tim. <laughs> oh, maybe he does have the one rail. I thought it was blocked. Well, he definitely has the one rail this way. Oh, my goodness. I'm paying. All right, fork it over. Yeah, no kidding. Well, all of a sudden you got dollars. They're coming yeah. in. Now I have dollars to play with. Shoot. Oops, that was a 20. There we go. Yeah, dollars, <laughs> yeah, $20. <laughs> Thank well, you very much. Well, you'll get there yeah, one no at a real. time. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a chance to get it back. Oh. Ooh. A little spicy Whack. there, Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Cliff's excited. A little emphasis. Just going to want to leave a little angle on the six ball. Well, just like that. Beautiful. Not looking good for Team Washington from here. No, it's not. Don't want to overhit this shot. A little punchy to get back to the other side. But didn't need to leave him quite that long. <laughs> yeah, it's not ideal. A mm -mm. little bit of a tester here for Chris. But Chris has been passing the test this match. He's, he has. He's he came to play. Yeah. Is he just gonna drift forward, take that eight in the in the I side? Think, I think so. Yeah. Overcut it. Oh my gosh. Washington's still alive. Still alive. Come on, Kimmy. a big shot here. Yeah, not Kim's an easy got shot it, though. to start I mean, with. It's, it's off the rail. Not an easy you shot. Don't want to hit so this ball soft, though. That's one of the tricky things is you you want to hit this ball firm to make sure your cut takes. Yeah, you hit it soft. It throws, it throws a little. Playing a little inside. Yeah. Swish. Bump it for Bump perfect. The nudge work. Um, eh. Perfect dish. Perfect dish. Perfect enough. And he can just follow this one rail and get back on the right side of the nine. Yeah. Or the big side. Yes. I know what you meant. And hopefully our viewers knew, know, know what you meant. That's perfect. Nice what shot, Tim. What a shot, Tim. Nice. Nice two shots by Kim and Tim. 
Well, that's a huge recovery. We're looking at three balls for the set, and all of a sudden it's 4-3. But Still alive. team we're going to break here. Boom. So, yeah, so I was saying the uh, frog rate is the average of the two players. So, uh, yeah, uh, what do we have here? We have Chris Byers, the 706, Cliff Maxson, 615, so their average is going to be 661. And yeah, Kim Jones, 558. Tim Twiddell, 652. Gives him a 620 average between the two of them. This is the rack right here, though. I mean, this is, I said it earlier when I was like, these are the racks that they need to get out of if they want to win the set. And this is it. This is, if you don't win this game, you're looking at a coin flip. So, I mean, breaking up, up a game, this is the time that you got to take advantage. Here's hoping. So again, Cliff's not going to try to make the one ball. The one's going to kind of come up towards the head rail. He hit that a little too full. That's, that'll do, but it came off a little weird for him. This rack just looks... Man, phenomenal. man, Although, that looks so juicy. I'm, I'm salivating all over this here. Mm -hmm. I think Chris is doing the same. Man, that looks good. <laughs> nice and easy slide out for the two on the side. Big, smooth, big, smooth. <laughs> I think Cliff is going to draw this. He could, no. or he could just shoot a stop shot. You know, that's fine, too. Nothing wrong yeah. with that. Nice and easy. These are, these are ones that I struggle with. I can hit this too soft and undercut it so easily, but Chris just hits it so good. Come on, baby. He just that's rolls into position. Perfect speed. He's just going to throw this ball a little bit and follow it. Yeah, just roll it in nice and easy. Leave a little bit of the back cut on the seven to get over for the eight. Maybe not. No, he's got something else in mind, it looks like. No, yeah. he just, okay, that's, yeah. Just like that's that, that's pretty, perfect. That's pretty straight. He's got a little angle, he can work with this. Yeah. You gonna follow it or punch it? Punch, punch it. it. Punch it! Oh, and he missed it. It's Is in. it going? Is it going? Oh, it, my oh gosh. My. Did he just Damien Pomp he that just, in? He just damien it. <laughs> well, I think See you have to add you. a rail every time. Damien two railed it. Chris three railed it. <laughs> Do I, oh, is, it oh, go, no. is it going? No. Oh, no. Is he going to get hooked? Or it, she? Who's who's up? Oh, I think it's Tim, hooked. I think Tim's up. Oh, frozen pizza hit that one a little bit hasty. Why do you call him frozen pizza? I, I, the man needs a nickname, <laughs> and that's an important. <laughs> and that's what we came up with. Okay. It's a story for another time. All right. I, I like Action Maxon. <laughs> I like frozen pizza. There's Action Maxon. I like that one. Frozen pizza just makes me laugh, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, they're walking awful slow for not taking an extension. Yep. There you go. Got the extension. They're looking for a jump cue here. Sorry, I left mine at home. Can't borrow Take your mine. time, Tim. Take <laughs> yeah. your time. No rush. You got 40 seconds. Or 80 seconds with their extension. 80 seconds. Okay. Well, I tell you, this is still... It's not easy. I mean... Wow, they're being awfully nonchalant about this. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're going to be running Time's out of time. Time's got to be taken down. And I'm on my feet here at Sam's Billiards. This is a big one. It's just so close to that rail. Do you think she's going to go foot rail first and try and come up? I think she's going to try to hit it full. Yes. Nice. Wowzers. That's a nice shot. Tim left with a tough cut or good looking bank here. I kind of like the bank, but, you know, to the side. I think I like the bank because of where, because I like to bank the ball, but <laughs> also where you're going to leave the cue ball. I think you had a pretty easy two-way there. I guess the cut leaves him pretty long also. Tim going to take his time, not make a hasty decision. <laughs> this one is literally for the set. 
miss this ball and you know Oregon's going to get it. But you drill it and all of a sudden you're breaking at 4-4. Well, he cut it. Oh, my oh, gosh. He, I thought he hit that ball. Holy cow. I want to talk trash because Tim's been talking so much, but he, I mean, he's just played awesome. And that was a great try for it. That's a huge shot. Let's have a look at this uh, jump again real quick. Boom. And held the ball great. Wow. Man, just fired that ball. There we go. All Tim right. Morgan tying it up 2-2. Two -two. But right. I tell you, that was a way closer match for that mismatch than it's supposed to be. 2-2. Two, two. All right, so we're going to have another match coming up right away. It's going to be uh, who we have up next. It's going to be singles, right? Chris Byers, James DeVee. Oh, man, that's going to be a great match. That's going to be a good one. Cool. Kevin, thanks for having me, man. This has been fun. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. See you guys. <laughs>